On today's episode of Crooked Mustache Gaming, we're taking a look at the Scuff Instinct Pro and seeing if it's worth your hard-earned money. Stay tuned. So today, we're going to be reviewing the Scuff Instinct Pro. Now, I've been rocking this thing for a few weeks, and I wanted to give my personal view, my two cents, to let you guys know what I think about it, because I wanted to go with the controller that I believed was the most versatile, out-of-the-box controller that you can use. I wanted something that was as OE feeling with everything we all want from a custom controller. Now, let's talk about the first reason why you might want to go with one of these. Here is the Scuff Instinct Pro, and here we have, standing in for a facsimile for a Xbox Series X controller, is an Xbox One controller. The only difference, this one has had its sticks changed because they've worn out over time. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice that on the back of this controller, there are no buttons. This is exactly how you would be playing, your triggers, buttons, and you would have your ABXY access like that. Now, if you notice, here on the back, there is nothing for my but my fingers to do. If I want to actuate any of these buttons up here, my, my thumb has to come off of the right stick to access ABXY, off of the left stick to access the D-pad, unless you start getting a little bit crazy. One of the reasons that people step up to one of these controllers is to have more flexibility when it comes to their gameplay. For example, if you want to be able to access your ABXY or your D-pad without removing your thumbs from the thumbsticks, that is where these rear paddle buttons come into play. Here you can see we've got four of them. The cool part with these is that they've placed them in such a way that you can actually actuate them with just your middle fingers. You either pull out toward the handle to actuate the outside buttons and you push up to actuate the inside ones. And that's four buttons that you have with four different inputs. There's three profiles built in that Scuff has kind of arranged as a typical array of what a normal gamer would do. But if none of those profiles work for you, you actually have the option of remapping the buttons yourself to whatever you want. You can remap them to the D-pad, to ABXY, you can even remap them to the bumpers and to the thumb clicks if that's more of your um, cup of tea. Now, if just the remappable rear buttons are enough for you, the base model instinct is gonna start out at $169.99 and you are good to go. But if you wanna take the next step, which seems to be where everybody is going in the market, you may have heard of this thing called smart triggers. And smart triggers are the ability to turn your linear draw, as you can see here, into a mouse click. Now, for example, in terms of other manufacturers, Battle Beaver and Aim Controller are the ones that are most prominent, especially in the shooter world, you actually do have a few options. The problem is that you have the option to either have the smart triggers on or off permanently, which means if you like playing shooters, but you also like playing racing games, anything that requires a linear trigger, once you opt for their smart triggers, you have no more option of actually using anything else. It's basically going to be the mouse click. Scuff has solved that problem in a rather ingenious way. When it comes to the smart trigger, this is where I truly believe that Scuff has set itself apart in the market. On the back, you'll see these two levers, and we'll actuate one so that you guys can see the difference. When we flip it over, here is the draw on a normal trigger, still linear, so you can play racing games, as I've mentioned, Here's the draw on the smart trigger. That's it. That is all the distance that you need to actuate to fire off a round in Apex Legends, Warzone, Fortnite, anything. You'll be able to fire much quicker than anyone else who's using a standard controller. And still, at the end, with a simple flip of a lever, there we go. You can go back to a normal trigger and controller performance is not impeded at all. And I think that is a definite, a huge plus for the scuff itself. Now, let's talk about something else, which is customizability, because honestly, a lot of people are going to want to like leave their own imprint on their controller. Well, scuff has you covered there too. Simply lift and remove the lid and you have access to all of your buttons right here. You can change your D-pad buttons. You can add convex sticks if you want them domed versus the concaves that are here. You can add extended sticks. The basic Instinct Pro, you can even actually, when you get different plates, you can even opt to have the rings uh, colored differently, which is pretty cool. The basic off the shelf, if you order it directly from Scuff, 
it's going to be a two hundred and nine dollars, two hundred nine ninety nine. You do have to uh, you do have to kind of look at it from the perspective that if you go with a fully kitted out one, because you can even have the motors removed, different colors and everything. If you want to order yours made to order, you can jack up the price pretty quickly. I'm f I went huh? with one that was off the shelf down the road. Maybe I'll add some customization, but as it is right now, I'm happy with it. There is no getting around the fact that it is almost the cost of a Series S console itself. And with the Xbox Series S, X consoles down to 450, you have to accept the fact that this is nearly half, uh, or a little bit more than half, depending on how you kit it out, than the cost of the console itself. So let's talk pros and cons. Let's start with cons. Cons, I'm going with the off the shelf price I paid, which was 229 uh, from Amazon. That is a huge premium over the standard controller, that there is no option to have the smart triggers without getting the basic instinct, which means, that if you were to go with the Instinct, the standard one, you're not going to get smart triggers and it's still a at $169.99 US. So that is the bare minimum. Let's talk about pros. The biggest pro for me is that ability to turn the smart triggers on and off, which makes it a truly versatile controller. I think that at 209 it is very competitively priced against its competition. I also believe that it is a big, a big, big deal that already included, it is not an, a surcharge is that ability to reprogram your rear buttons right off the bat. If you want that option from Battle Beaver, it is a surcharge that you get on top of the basic controller and AIM doesn't offer it at all. So I think that overall, if you're looking for one of these custom controllers, I really believe that the Scuf Instinct Pro is the way to go. So that's my two cents, guys. Thank you guys for your time. Uh, leave a comment down below. Maybe you guys chose to go with an Instinct Pro or an Instinct. Maybe you chose to go with an AIM or a Battle Beaver. Leave a comment down below so people can actually get some feedback, see maybe there's reasons why to go with one of the other controllers. This is what I went for. This is what I spent my hard-earned money on, so I can truly tell you that this is not a sponsored video. This is my own opinion because I bought the controller. There you go, Scuff. So links are going to be down in the description for both the Instinct and the Instinct Pro. Obviously, they're affiliate links. They help, they help support the channel. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming future videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Alfred for Crooked Mustache Gaming, and we'll see you next time. Dale!